See, we don't see Doug as Doug with a disability. We see as Doug's as Doug's our brother. Well, the story was I was born in Camelville. In those days, the hospital was too small, so they had to rush mum to Mount Isaac to give birth. My dad was sitting out on the waiting room because in those days they couldn't allow fathers to be in the same room as his mum. As soon as the twins were born, he got on the, on the phone to his mother from Adelaide and he said, oh, I got twins, I got twins. And next minute the doctor came out, I'm sorry, he lost one of the twins, but I survived actually. So he would have been five or six years of age. Doug left the family to go and live at Kutharinga so he could get the services that he needed at that time. In those days, I used to have one caliper standing up. So it's in those days, it was quite interesting. So it was a bit like an institution for kids who had intellectual and physical disabilities. Oh, not so good memories of many people were not so great doing uh, not so great things to us and all that. So we, it was sort of like, sort of like a prison. We really missed him being part of that family unit. However, at the time, we also lived in places where there weren't the services that he needed. I actually struck up a lot of friendship. Doug had friends there that I think remained lifelong friends with him, so they were some of the good memories. Doug's time at Kutharinga made him tough to become the very independent person he is today, because he's lived here in Brisbane since he was 18 years of age. Seeing where he's at right now, um, he doesn't need anybody else. He's very independent. I'm a tough old nut to crack. I'm full of energy, I go out all the time. Doug's one of seven children, counting Doug's twin brother, Alan, who passed away when he was six days old. Our eldest sister passed away in 2000. And then in 2009, we lost our dad. In 2015, we lost a brother who was a year older than Doug. And then a year after our brother passed away, our mum passed away. Through all of those times, Doug's managed to organise himself to be there with family. The fortitude that he has is you know, like our brother's dying from cancer and he gets himself on a train that takes you 24 hours to get to Townsville on a train. He gets himself up there and he helps look after our brother, even if it's just making him a cup of tea or, you know, emptying the rubbish bins. He still did that. You can't sort of go back and look at it from yesterday. You've got to go forward into the future to make this happen. So my, that's my positive views. Don't sit back and wait for anything to come to you. Get up and... Do something about it. Do something about it. If you want something, you need to get up and go and do it. And I think that's what Doug does. He makes us all very, very proud because of what he's achieved in his life. And he's only been able to achieve those because of his own resilience and determination and his want to be independent and to be able to live the life that he wants to live.